Hey, what's up there guys? I just thought I'd get a little um, video in here just kind of show you a little update on how the catfish are doing. They're honestly doing really, really well in this tank. They're loving it. Sorry for the shakiness in this video, but I thought I'd kind of show you how these guys are doing. This little guy is like one of the littler ones. There's one other guy that's just like a teeny, teeny dude. And then I also had to get this moss ball to help with the ammonia levels to keep them down. Um, I guess I had really, really super high ammonia levels because of all these mealworms that I was feeding them. So if you guys are feeding them mealworms, I would just recommend to kind of just watch your water levels, kind of check them and have them be checked at like PetSmart and stuff like that. So yeah. They're loving it though. They're starting to get fat and happy. <laughs> Got stuff everywhere, sorry. And then I also put another filter in here too because it's been getting kind of dirty so I've been making sure that this is going to just stay clean. So yeah, I got this one. The water level is a little bit high, I know that, but it's just because I water, lose water so quickly. And then the one it came with, of course. It's really nice though. It's only like six or seven bucks. Yep, yep. Good stuff. So yeah, they seem to be liking this. They like to hang out down there by the filters and then they also like to hang in these little things over here. Fun stuff though. It's always cool to see him hiding out. Yeah. Well, alrighty, guys. I just thought I'd give you that quick little video. Show you how everything's going. Right now, we're at 68. 68.70 is perfect for bullheads. Um, they're usually super active, but I just, usually, I just uh, lifted the tank lid and stuff, so they're going to be kind of hiding out. But yeah. Just thought I'd give you little guys a little update on these. We're getting... A little bit bigger by thinking about maybe moving them to an even larger tank. Um, comment below what kind of algae eaters you guys think is the best. Either suckers or snails. Because I've had one snail that died. But I don't want to get a sucker fish cook because they get way too large for their environments. But yeah. And also there's some sucker fish that these catfish will just kill off and eat. So let me know what you guys think. Until um, next time guys.